All right, we're gonna do a little walk around here on the 69 Roadrunner J code with the 99 special order paint codes on it. Um, start here, the VIN RM23J. So that J is the the big money uh, number there, or letter rather. Um, this is a car originally optioned with a 426 Hemi. It currently does not have that, but uh, that VIN is very important, obviously. Um, inside, needs refurbishment. Um, a lot of the stuff is here. Got the Roadrunner. Um, you know, windows work, that kind of stuff. But, you know, the headliner needs attention. There's um, pan you know, panels missing here on the seat pillar. Um, the seats are not original. These are some pretty sweet um, sweat or uh, velvet looking green seats. Um, you can see here the green patch panel there i i'm speculating i don't know for sure but i would guess that this car had a four speed or something in it at some point and uh then when that four speed got removed they put that patch panel in there um there's a lot of the hood as well has that same green tint to it or same green color um so they borrowed parts maybe from the same car maybe that's where they got the seats from i'm speculating but just what I found. Um, so here where the kick panel still plate area is, you can see the orange. Here is lighter than the orange here. Um, very uh, obvious here in the door jam. Um, the orange it is currently painted, that is a very uh, poorly done paint job. There's overspray everywhere. There's overspray in the radiator, course port everywhere. So I mean, that's some, metal there some the paint chipped away um my guess is that the car was originally some orange color like this potentially i'm, I'm guessing there's omaha orange is one of them um vitamin c uh i'm not sure exactly which um but anyways again the two-tone of the orange is obvious in all these areas they did not they closed the doors and they sprayed it they did not do a very good job um the roof originally black vinyl um it, there was some of it left when we got the car um i finished removing it just to kind of give everybody a, a fair look at what this you know situation is here as far as the sheet metal um but it's solid there's uh the seam there this has got a little bit of rot going on um you know these drip rails are dried up the caulking or pillar there is no good um a broken hemi badge um this is ripped up a little bit um all right so under the hood again you can see the underside of this car has that green so i don't know if they stole a bunch of parts from that green car or what um but yeah again just more evidence of the quick poorly done paint job um all right so you're seeing more orange underneath here um you can see this is a six pack setup this is a 440 engine um currently with this Edelbrock intake on it and the Holly carbs. Um, I'll point out the carb list uh, numbers on them. I don't know if they'll show up very well on camera, but uh, my goal is to, you know, show everybody kind of what we're working with. Um, I don't know how well I'll be able to see this. Um, but that carb number is 4365 
And then if you look on the back side of this middle one here, um, that one is 4144. And then down there, you can see, is another 4365 carburetor. Um, from my research, those are all of the 500 CFM models. And uh, yeah, they're all there. Um, just kind of give you a quick once over the engine here. Um, exhaust manifold part number here is 28998. Seven, nine, or eight. Those eights or nines could be kind of interchanged, I guess. It looks like there's a 70 date code on it. Um, interestingly, this driver's side exhaust manifold um, has a different part number. So I don't know if they changed the part number somewhere down the road, but um, this is, seems to be an earlier one because there's a 68 date code on it, and the number on it is 2843. 992. Um, oh, the um, hidden VIN here uh, shows the sequence number 190427, which you can see coincides with the number here. And as well on the uh, fender tag. So a couple of cool things about the fender tag, um, you know, there's, this is all posted up on the listing, but you know, black accent stripes, pretty cool looking, obviously very Roadrunner-esque. Uh, Y39, this here, um, is a indicator that says special order. So, um, you know, it gets to show you here that uh, as you go through it, there is a special order um, paint code here, so these are the nine nines. Those are indicating that this is a special order exterior paint. Some other things to note, A32, um, that's a super performance axle package with the Dana 60 and a 410 diff. Um, obviously the car currently does not have that um, Dana 60 installed, but that's what the car came with. Um, and then just a couple things like, um, E74 shows you that it was a 426 Hemi with dual four barrel carbs. The D32 is the A727 three speed automatic. And uh, yeah, you get the, get the idea. So. All right, just a quick show and tell here of the uh, trunk um, spare tire. I don't think this is, I could be wrong, but of any significance. Um, but there's a spare tire, the sway bar I mentioned being missing is uh, here. You can see some of the outside world there through the uh, rotted area of the quarter. Um, so just wanted to show you that. But the rest of the floor is solid. There is some uh, butyl or whatever you want to call it here um, coming up. But you know, the whole trunk is, is relatively clean um you know there's some surface rust here but nothing is rotted and uh they're looking pretty good um but again more of this other orange compared to the new orange um yeah and then uh show you the other hidden vin uh, 190427 so matches through and through gonna do a walk around underneath the car just to give you a feel for the status of everything down here um, core support you can see again just overspray and the radiator the whole thing uh, poor paint job um, so this had a sway bar on it um, it's currently in the trunk See underneath here, um, we did an oil change on it. Uh, there's a new fuel filter, some stuff like that. The tank's new, um, just some things to make the car running uh, when we got it recovered from the field. Uh, we wanted to make sure that, you know, cars turned over and uh, we could give a fair evaluation. You could see that I was driving the vehicle in this video. Um, I don't really recommend that. These tires are 
uh, dangerous to say the least, but you know, professional driver on a closed course. Um, don't try this at home. So anyways, underneath here, just uh, again, just showing you the 440. Um, casting numbers show, whatever that says, 253630. A little 187 there. Um, so here is where the stamping of the VIN typically is. Uh, this car actually, this motor has that been machined off. Um, not that it was original to the car anyway, just more or less sharing that um, for uh, transparency's sake. Uh, this casting date is November 7th, 1968. Here's a peek at the trans. Um, there's a part number here, or a number here. Um, anyhow, more areas, um, you know, that you might want to look for. Rust, it seems to be decent here. Um, if you look at the whole floor pan, um, it's actually really solid. Uh, it's very nice and um, you know there's some scale in some certain areas but uh, for the most part it's a I mean it is a solid floor. Um, there are other issues of rust in the car but the floor is not one of them. Uh, torque boxes, two different mufflers. <laughs> um, so Uh, back here, we've got the rear end. I'll just show you some stuff. I know it's not really important since it's not the Dana. Just thought I'd document it all since we're here. Uh, 323 gear. Um, yeah, more areas of, you know, just to check out and uh, evaluate. Chrysler mufflers. So um, here's some of the bad. The quarters here have rot, um, but you know, there's, this is all good still. So really the main area of concern is this spot as well as it is on this side. It looks much worse on this side. Um, Few spots here, spot here on the, on the door. Um, again, tires are shot. Uh, this is not a safe car to drive. Um, kind of a cool thing here. I, student parking, University of Southern Colorado, uh, 1978. So, pretty cool. Somebody was out hot rodding this thing and enjoying it. Um, and I wanted to show this. This is a Dana. Uh, it's with the 69. So it's got a 354 gear in it, but I'm including this in the sale. This is um, coming with the car. So let's show you some of this. 60 on it. Um, somebody wrote on this 69 GTX. Um, also included in the sale here is the air grabber setup. So I had an air grabber setup that I would include with the vehicle. Um, so yeah, here we are.